Good morning, everybody. My name is Helen Ghent, and I have been involved with the Sudbury Theater Center since its inception in 1971. When I came to Sudbury in 1958, there was no professional theater, and the general population had never been exposed to it. Fortunately, a group of local people involved with amateur theater tested the waters and decided that Sudbury was ready <coughs> for a professional theater. And so began the STC. Change happened. Today, we're focusing on change. Back then, we had a perfect fit with our first artistic director, Tony <laughs> Lloyd. Tony was able to produce a season that started with a comedy, ended with a big musical, and in the middle did a serious piece of work to placate the funding bodies. Those productions were usually the best pieces for the serious aficionados, but not with the general public. Tony was able to make the funding bodies see that to succeed, we had to develop an audience. And as he said, put bums in the seats. So for 15 years, we rolled along until Tony decided that he wanted a personal professional change, and we were in for a complete change. So let's fast forward to the last decade. We had crisis upon crisis, ending with COVID, having severe financial constraints and lack of funding due to poor grant applications, lack of vision, and lack of attendance. The board knew we had to change and we were really concerned about what to do. And then the penny dropped. We didn't have to go far. We realized that there might be a way to solve our problem and enhance the stature of theater in Sudbury by recognizing the talent already here. At a cast party at my home after a play years ago, I met a young man who was in his teens and in his first professional production. And what impressed me was the respect that the rest of the cast had for him. This young man was born with a passion for theater. And in his teens, he asked his parents to back him so he could form a theater company. They did. I remember his mother saying to me, I thought we were going to have to mortgage the house. Anyway, he continued his education in the arts. He continued creating and producing and directing plays in the summer. He continued his professional development and added Christmas productions. And since then has become extremely well connected, not only in Canada and North America, but internationally. He knows everything about the theater world today and is a visionary. And most importantly, he is invested in this community. At a seminar on change in the 80s, a lecturer ended his address with this analogy. If you do not change, you will be like a bug on the windshield of time. <whistles> Ladies and gentlemen, to save us from this fate, it is my privilege to introduce you to our agent for change, Alessandro Costantini, Artistic Director of Yes Theatre and the Sudbury Theatre Centre. Thank you.